Gasoline Boy sa Davao City. Nagpabagsak ng mayabang na kampyon na boksingero sa bansang Australia. Isang Pinoy na mukhang payaso at parang hindi makakagawa ng kasalanan ang minaliit at inakalang patabalang sa kartada ng kampyon na kalaban. Pero ang Pinoy na ito pala ang tatapos sa kanyang kayabangan. He's landed the right hand left hook again and Mick's in trouble again. Mick should be trying to really lock him up and as you can see the heart of Mick jumping on him. Oh, he's hurt Mick. Mick's dead. One, two, three. Beautiful over. Si Roberto Oyan Oliveros, o mas kilala bilang Roberto Oyan, ay isang alamat na Pinoy na boksingero na lumaban sa Australia. Nagmula sa napakagandang bayan ng Davao City ang ating bida. Katulad ng ibang boksingero, si Roberto Oyan ay nangarap at pagbaboxing ang nakita niyang paraan upang makaahon sa hirap. Mula sa walang humpay na pagtatrabaho sa bukid na napakahirap, kaya ang katawan ng ating bida ay talagang nabata. Kaya na masukan ng ating bida na gasoline boy sa Davao City. Ilang taon din siya naging gasoline boy dito hanggang naisip niya na pasukin ang pagbabaksing. At nang unang sinubukan niya ang pagbabaksing, nakitaan agad siya ng talento dahil napakatibay ng kanyang katawan at kamao. Naging isa na siyang profesional na boksingero. Pero ang kitaan sa pagbabaksing sa Pilipinas sa kanyang pamilya ay hindi naging sapat. Kaya naisip ng ating bida na dumayo ng Australia upang doon makipagsapalaran at mabigyan ng pagkakataong lumaban. Siyempre hindi siya pumunta na mag-isa dahil merong nag-recruit sa kanya at tumulong sa kanya. Maganda nga ang kitaan dito pero pinalaban agad si Roberto sa mga dekalibring halimaw na Australianong boksingero kaya naging madalas ang kanyang pagkatalo. Araw ng Biyernes, August 25, taong 2006, sa Mansfield Tavern, Queensland, Australia, dumayo ang ating bida na si Roberto Oyan para ipalapa daw kay make show ng Australia. Hindi basta-basta ang boksingerong ito at napakatindi ng kartada. Siya ang Australian Super Lightweight Champion at may hawak ng WBF Asia Pacific Lightweight Division title. Sa record na 22 na panalo, 7 sa pamamagitan ng KO, isang draw at isang talo lamang. Dahil sa record ng ating kababayan na labing anim na panalo, lima sa pamamagitan ng KO at mas maraming talo na umabot ng 27 ay inakala talaga ng kampiyon na Australiano na paglalaroan niya lamang at magiging pataba lamang sa kanyang kartada ang ating pambato. Pero gugulatin ni Roberto ang lahat ng mga Australiano. Bago ang kanilang laban ay nagangas-angasa na itong Australiano sa harap ng mga tao na hindi niya patatagalin, ina-knockout niya at pahihirapan ng gusto ang ating pambato. Dahil dito ay medyo kinabahan talaga si Roberto kaya ang kanya mukha sa interview ay medyo seryoso. Pero nangako naman na magandang laban ang ating pambato. Pagpasok ng Australiano, yawa na agad ang mga tao habang hindi naman nila pinansin ang pagdati ng ating pambato. Round number one, naka-observation haki agad ang ating kababayan. Parang nababasa niya ang galaw ng kalaban, kaya hindi siya matamaan at palagi niyang nasasapul ang kalaban. He's uh, one strong boy, can punch hard and as tough as they come. You don't, they don't get any tougher than Robert. What's Mick's strengths as a fighter, Chris? Accuracy. Uh, um, good left hand. And he's very good, sure. Yep, without a doubt. If Shaw has taken this lightly, then he's in for a hard night. With a nice one too. Danger punch, Chris, when you fought him, or what were you worried about? The overhand right. And a nice left hook a little while ago, and that's... Decides to stay here. Oh. Break! Now like that, I'll probably lean towards Mick that round, but... Sa round number 2, ganun pa rin ang senaryo pero mas dumidiin na mga suntok ni Roberto. Kitang kita dito na mas malaki talaga ang Australiano pero mas maliksi at malakas naman ang Pilipino. Nice jab but nice comeback. Crafty. 
Oh, did he get Mick Shaw there? I think he got caught him with more in the red corner. Right after this. Round number 3, mga powerful na suntok na ang gamit ni Kabayan pero ayaw naman magpatalo ng kanyang kalaban. Sa mga powerful na suntok, sila ay nagpalitan pero mas nakakalamang dito ang ating kababayan kaya napabagsak ng Pinoy sa round na ito ang kanyang kalaban. Oh, he's been caught for the left hook I think. I thought, I thought it's give me slip there. I think that was a half slip. He might have just caught him off balance and the punch knocked him down to the ground. Oh, but Oyen. I think Oyen can sense, sense an upset here. I think so. Oh, he's got Mick again for left hook. Get them hands up, Mick, and get on. When a guy's coming at you, Chris, so what? back to the ropes. And it's uh, perfect. Oh, he's trying to hit him too hard at the moment, Mick. He's got to go back to box. He's looking to oh. measure Mick. He's caught him with that wrong way at the moment. That's better. Get back to center now, Mick. There we go. The bell's called. Cool, cool. Sa round number four, atras na lang atras dito ang kampiyon na Australiano. Ramdam na talaga niya ang lakas ng kamao ng ating pambato. 24 to 30 of those rounds, I didn't many people behind me, so it was... It was Senior results from last time when you got the microphone in your head. Rarely, anyway. So Mick was hoping to go the body. It's dangerous. Nice left hook. Isang napakalakas na kamao ang pinakawala ng ating pambato na parang saging na nagpatumba sa kalaban niyang Australiano. Kaya lang sa kanyang pagtayo ay diretso corner na ito dahil da save by the bell pa ang kalabang boksingero. Uh, the bell's rung. Glenn Azar has stopped the fight. The bell, Glenn Azar has jumped in the ring. Round number 5, ito na talaga ang tinatawag na bakbakan. Binugbog lang gusto ng ating kababayan ang kanyang kalaban. To be trying to really lock him up and as you can see the heart of Mick Shaw, he's trying to fight with him. He's trapped in that corner and Owen will not let him out of there. Oh my god. Oh, Mick's looking, oh, he's being caught again, he's hurt again, Mick. Right. He is just not seeing that big right hand come over the top at him. Nah. Oh, he's in trouble. Mick's got to lock him up. Derek Miller may be a very close to do it for him. Keep him away from him and not trade. He's being caught again with the right hand. Close. Oh. We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. See you after the... Sa round number 6, wala nang natitirang pag-asa sa kampiyon na Australiano dahil physically and mentally nawasak na siya ng ating pambato. Sure, isn't he? He's looking for that bomb. The rope then. He got center ring. Oh, he's being caught for left hook. How do you sense it when a guy is hurt, Chris? Handle yourself, and the fighting's the easy part. See the 10 second buzzer to go. Chris, how do you score that one quickly? Ah, uh, once again, I think... Round number 7, dito natatapusin ng ating kababayan ang paghihirap ng kalaban. Puro powerful na suntok na ang kanyang papakawalan na brutal na magpapasuko sa kanyang kalaban. From one rope to the other rope, to the other rope. Oh, he's down on... He's called that a knockdown. Oh, I didn't see any telling by the of a slip and a punch, but definitely the second one was a clear knockdown. Oh, that was a very, very big knockdown, that one. He's got Mick backing up again. You'll see Mick Shaw. Oh, he's being tagged with a huge left hook. Mick's in serious trouble again. Oh, and a right hand. Oyen oh. is just waiting. He's caught him in the back of the head. I think it was that first right neck of the head would send him down. But he's in some serious trouble here as Rob. Oh, and he's tagged Mick. Oh, Mick's down again. Big right hand. That's enough. Derek Millam has said that's enough. Glenn Azar jumps into the ring to save Mick Shaw to make sure that he is all... Isang Pinoy na minaliit ang ating boksingero. Pero hindi nagpatalo. Pinakita sa mundo ang tunay na lakas ng isang Pilipino.